a charming little hotel. Alright everyone, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play review. Today we're going to be talking about Dark Deception Chapter 1. Dark Deception is a Pac-Man clone horror game with beautiful graphics. Terrifying graphics is what I mean to say. It is so freaking scary. But there's some things, uh, first thing I'm going to talk about what they do wrong because the gameplay really bothered me even though it starts out amazing and you're just like, oh this is so scary and it's great. But the more you play it, and I figured this would happen when I first started playing, it gets super annoying the way they made it because they, it's a very Pac-Man clone like game but then they leave out certain things for the horror aspect that really makes it hard to play. These monkeys... You know how in Pac-Man you have the four ghosts, you got Inky, Blinky, Clyde, and Pinky. And they all have different personalities, only one of them's actually looking for you, one of them's random, and one of them runs away from you. There are three monkeys in this. One's called Mad Pax, one's called Cocksucker, and the other one's called I'm Going to Get You. <laughs> Those are the three monkeys in this game. And they all use Mad Pax, and they all run straight at you. You can watch them do it because there's a power up in this that you can get that shows where your enemies are. And you can literally watch how they know where you're at and they are running at you. It even says it in the tooltip on one of the loading screens. It's like, the monkeys know where you are, they're coming to get you. Keep running at all times. Because they are literally coming to get you. They know where you're at and they're coming to get you. So, this game is very RNG based in my opinion. Maybe this is like a get good kind of complaint, but it feels very RNG based. And this game runs super smooth. My recording might be a little bit framing because it's like super fast paced but it runs super smooth for the graphics and it's not only that they have map hacks it's the fact that when you're playing a pac-man game right it's a top-down arcade game so you know everything you know where the ghosts are at so you can kind of like play accordingly which would really kind of ruin the horror aspect if you could just avoid the monkeys the whole time even though they have their map hacks I feel like that balanced it out the fact they have map hacks and you Maybe you should be able to see them because they have map hacks, god dang. But you gotta power up for that, and that just, I think that makes this game so hard and RNG based. And when you get down to like a little bit of crystals left, these guys are going to camp them. <laughs> they will camp them. You better hope you have enough lives left to get those crystals <laughs> because they are going to sit there and they're gonna murder you. There's a neat thing it gives you if you get 200 gems in a row. See how they're chasing me? You can, they're the red dots on the freaking tablet. But, when you <laughs> get 200 crystals, you get an extra life, which is awesome. That's good. Because you need it. <laughs> so I way to beat it. I'm telling you, I've played this so many times. Because I'm one of those people that gets, like, super set on beating something when I'm playing the game. And, oh my gosh. I was set, and I was trying to beat it. And I almost gave up. <laughs> if I wouldn't, have, if I wouldn't have beat it on this run, I would have quit. <laughs> I would have just been like, "This game's unbeatable." I, I know it'd probably be beatable, but I know it'd be so RNG based. I just wouldn't want to waste any more time on it. The things it does well, though, and it does them really well. Graphics are amazing, as you can probably tell, even though it's kind of probably blurry because I'm running full speed ahead. The graphics are amazing. And the atmosphere is so freaking creepy. Oh my goodness. It is so aesthetically gifted of a game. <laughs> That's so good. Also, there's secret things in this game. Like those doors, you can actually open them. And there'll be a room in there and it'll give you a briefcase. And you can get extra content. And you have achievements for doing things like that. This game has a lot of achievements. If you want some free achievements and you don't plan on playing the other chapters. I am considering buying the other chapters when they come out. There's only chapter 2 out at the moment. They have it where you can pre-buy all the other DLC, but that's... I refrain from that because I just don't trust <laughs> people to finish their games. I've had a few bad experiences with that, so... That's up to you, but it... Oh, man. It's so good for a horror game, and it's such a neat concept. It's just so hard to play, I'm telling you. I have... Maybe they made chapter 1 extra hard, or they made it easier, which I'm scared of, because if chapter 2 is harder than this, I don't think I'll make it. <laughs> also, the monkeys open the freaking doors and block you. The freaking monkey inhabitants that have no part in catching you, they'll block you a little bit with the doorway. On the bright side, you can outrun the monkeys, but they will 
block you and there's nothing you can do about it because one you can't tell where they're at two the hallways only have like so many directions and there's three of them with their map hacks coming to get you oh gosh but it kept my heart racing especially when you can th they do the sound really well like you can almost tell exactly where the monkey's coming from based off the sound but sometimes you can't <laughs> like that <laughs> when they just come around the corner and maul you there's not much to do about it it seems to have a really interesting story though which I'm also looking forward to that's one of the things that I want to keep playing it because the story looks kind of like super interesting definitely with like the creepy dark aesthetic I mean it doesn't look like it's gonna be the most original story in the world but the monsters are terrifying and they seem to change by chapter so it's not just the monkeys just the monkeys for chapter one but chapter two looks like this long outstretched girl arm freaking creature that looks terrifying you'll see after I beat chapter one like I'm gonna include the whole chapter one in this part because I am not going to if you don't want to see the end of this chapter just end where the score is because that's I'll always put the score before I actually reveal things so at least I'll give you that but be I'm super interested to see how this goes but I'll have the ending for people that don't want to struggle through this because this was a challenge at first I was thinking oh this game gets an 8 out of 10 it's amazing even though it's not finished I'm super like they have so many things going for it and I realized the, all the problems with the gameplay and I was just like oh god this is not an 8 out of 10 this is so so challenging for me and you'll see I get so close and then they kill me when I have like three gems left oh Man, I'm telling you, if I would have died here, at like, twice, oh, oh, I would have just quit playing, for real. Because they block you in, there's not much you can do about it. Um, what else was I going to say? The achievements, are, I like how the thing keeps up with how many gems you get in one run, too. It's really nice when something, like, acknowledges your good play, but, yeah, like that, you just... The monkeys are terrifying too, but they kind of lose their scariness when they're just starting to really annoy you, to be honest. Like, they really lose their scariness. But this game's going to get a 7 out of 10, and the only reason I'm telling you that this early in the video is because I don't want to spoil what happens after you get the rest of the gems. So, if you don't continue on, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye! But I'm still going to be here for the other people that want to see the ending. <laughs> Okay, continuing on. So, once you get the last three gems, apparently the monkeys just go ape shit. <laughs> All pun intended. You can hear them start screaming and she tells you about it. Luckily, the way I had the gem set up, I was close to it because I would have. Oh man, if they snatched me up there, I would have literally lost. I probably would have thrown my computer, never played a game like this again. I would have been so mad. Oh, I probably wouldn't have actually done it, but I would have thought about it. I was thinking about it before it even happened. But yeah, the cutscenes in the game are pretty good and terrifying. So I don't really know what the premise is too much. They don't really give you too much of an introduction except for this lady wants these things and you want something, but I can't remember what it even was. You're trying to go back to the past or something. And there's this demon thing that you can apparently get his power by collecting the rings. So it's kind of generic, but... I was too scared to turn around here. <laughs> I was like, I ain't even going to look back to see what that thing is. But it's a monkey apparently. I saw him by like an inch. And it has a little point system. The aesthetic of it kind of reminds me of Catherine a little bit. Just a lot worse of a <laughs> game. I really like Catherine. That was a good one. Catherine was super fun. And you level up. I'm curious to see if that will actually help you as you go into the further chapters. Because if that does, that'd be really cool. It doesn't really show you the leveling up aspect in the chapter 1 playthrough. But if he gives you like more powers, maybe like a, something to help you survive, that'd make the game so much more bearable as like a playthrough. So yeah, she's like obviously the character that seems to be on your side but it's going to betray you. And then this is the demon that's like, oh I'm evil, but you shouldn't listen to her, that's a bad idea. But I'm still obviously evil, so <laughs> why would you trust me? Yeah. 
I don't even know why his name's question mark, question mark, question mark, because he was the monkey dude, I'm pretty sure. Unless they're separate. Who knows? Oh man. She flamed me so hard, you guys didn't see the opening cinematic, but she was like, I expected you to be bigger. <laughs> it's like, god damn. What? Don't flame me like that. You don't know me, lady. Oh. Gosh. Alright. Yeah. So, once you get through this, it opens up the new chapter that you can't really play unless you pay for it. But I'm interested enough that I'd probably pay for it if they finish the rest of the chapters. Because the graphics are great, the atmosphere is amazing, and I'm really curious to see where they're going to go. I don't think I'd beat the whole thing because I'd get frustrated way too easily with the... Uh, I just don't think the gameplay is, like, very sound. Maybe they'll fix that in the future. But that thing is creepy looking. That doll looking thing? Oh my gosh, she's like a Super Smash Brothers Shadow new challenger awaiting kind of thing. And I... Don't know if I could handle that. <laughs> but, yeah. If I do buy it, I might do like a full playthrough of the game. We'll see. If they ever finish it. Now the real... Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>